Hello, everybody. Welcome back with JRD Productions. This is a long overdue. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game Legacy Collection for Joey's World. Now, I have never mentioned this, but this is literally my longest video that I ever wanted to record. I'm serious. Because... What happened was, I bought this in April of 2018. And recording this video, it is September 30th, 2018. Now, granted, it's going to be a while since this is up alive, but I'm a huge Joey Wheeler fan. And uh, honestly, I like all the original decks Kaiba, Yugi, and Joey, but mainly Joey because him and I share a lot in common. I want to pull off this outfit at TwitchCon. I really, really do. But that's another day for another another time. But uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I mean, I just love the way this is, this is you know, made. Baby Dragon on the side. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! On, on the side. Time Wizard. I, I honestly love it how, how it is. But, and then we got a lot of old cards on the back. Include three ultra rare cards. Two tournament ready cards, uh, tokens, and then five packs, and uh, what is that? Five legacy collection, four mega packs, and one double sided game board. Every mega pack has nine cards from the original Yu Gi Oh! era one secret rare, one ultra, one super, one rare, and then five common cards per pack. That is crazy, but I'll actually be keeping this just because of nostalgia value. Like, I'm very excited, to say the least. I am very, very excited, and I hope, hopefully you are too. This is my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, oops. Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxing, let's just say. Uh, I love the cl uh, classic cards. Basically, uh, GX is where, where, where I stopped personally, uh, but... I'm just stupid excited. I'm very, very excited. What is that? Oh, alright. Never mind. Something was un is under my mat, but it doesn't freaking matter now. No, it does it. But Baby Dragon's on one side and then Time Wizard. As long as I get those two cards, uh, I'm a f super fan, but this is how it is normally. And... I mean, I've had this for months, so I wouldn't be sad if some cards are damaged, but I'll open these first, obviously, and then one, two, three, four, then I'll, I may actually keep this as well, but more importantly, boom. Oh, cool. They fit in twine of one another. So I want to try to make this a little longer than, than normal. And people are probably going to say, that's that's not, po that, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. You're absolutely right. This has got to go. This has got to go. Because this, this isn't a, a Pokemon video. This, how, how am I, I going to do this? I didn't, I didn't really think things through, honestly. Because Yu-Gi, uh, Joey is on the, the left-hand side. Camera. It's not, I mean, there you go. <laughs> there you go, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. Uh, there you go. There you go. I mean, beautiful. Beautiful. But, yeah. I don't know. I always looked up to Joe. I thought him and I were very relatable for several reasons. Let's just say. But I could already see the blue flame swordsman. I already have it. But that does not mean I will not put it in my binder. I actually do have a Yu-Gi-Oh binder as well, so same with uh, the Pokemon series. If you do want to see that, let me know. But enough about fucking Pokemon. This this is where... I've never actually played uh, Pokemon. I've played Yu-Gi-Oh a bunch, and I was the best at it. So, Blue Flame Swordsman. Very, very good. Honestly, it's going to be hard to read the text sometimes, so... I will not. Harpy Ladies Phoenix Formation. There's a lot more text on the card and a lot smaller. If you control one or more Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sister, target as many monsters on your opponent's 
control as possible, but not more than the num uh, total number of Harpy Ladies and Harpy Lady Sisters you control. Destroy the highest original attack among these destroyed monsters. Your choice if tied. You cannot special summon monsters from the main deck or extra deck. I mean, fuck, that's just a paragraph right there. And then, <clears throat> Call of the Last Will. See, I will gladly read this. If if the attack of monsters you control becomes zero by an Akarnic effect, draw until you have five cards in your hand. Very good. This card cannot be used in a duel. Why? Like, is it OP? Is it banned? And then the tokens. So, yay. Yay, yay, yay. I, I've i wanted these tokens for a while. So, I mean, boom. Blue scapegoat. Red scapegoat. Pink scapegoat. Orange. White and pink again. But, boom. Like, I've never had tokens in my whole life. And I know these are, like, this card cannot be used in a deck. Great. But, I... It's just awesome. Like, maybe this will be nostalgia value for me. But I'm going to put all the cards that's going in my binder in there. And then the rest, I don't know. But I'm very excited. Like, just holding one of these packs make me shake. Because it's just so much nostalgia. Whoa. And they're numbered, too. That's crazy. Are they all numbered? Yeah, it just, it just says... Oh, wow. It literally says what what box they're from. So I guess the box is probably numbered as well somewhere. But all the packs are numbered, which is very, very nice. I don't, I'll don't. i probably keep these. I'm not throwing these away. Because, uh, you know, I came a choice where I could either do Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxing or Pokemon. Oh, my God. I just saw one of the cards that I haven't seen in forever. Um... Uh, and honestly, I picked Pokemon for several reasons, but Yu-Gi-Oh! was definitely a close second. But I saw the first card, I know you guys did see it as well, Mirror Wall. Each of your opponent's monsters that con conducted an attack while this card was face up on the field has its attacked half. As long as this card remains on the field during your standby phase, pay 2,000 points or destroy this card. Disgusting, and I love it. Lava Battle Guard. Oh, my God. I'm like... Oh, my God. This is awesome. So nostalgia. This card gains 500 for each Swamp Battle Guard you control. Magical Stone Evacuation. Gravekeeper Rare Viserary. Very, very long context. Ooh. Stray... Stray Lambs. Special summon two lamb token beast on talk. All right, that's pretty cool. Whoa! All right, like you could see, like I have this, I have keeping my pile and then side pile where I don't actually know the cards. Destroy all spell and trap cards on your opponent. Wow, that's awesome. Pyramid turtle. I love classic cards. So, eh. when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you could special summon one zombie top mark. Monster with 2,000 uh, or less defense. And then Jam Breeding Machine. And then... Oh, nice! I believe I have this uh, Hollow and I needed it common. So this is perfect for me. Harpy Lady Sister. It looks like maybe Joe and Mai combined their decks. I don't know. But cannot be normal summon. Must, must first special summon with Elegant Egotist. So... Uh... One, two, three. <laughs> that's that's my positioning. But, god damn, I can't believe I waited so long. Uh, maybe I'll get Kaiba's, uh, and if Yugi has one. But I don't, I personally don't know, because this is collection number four. Because uh, off the top of my head, I mean, Yugi has to be one. Probably Kaiba. Um, the third one is probably Marek, Pegasus, or probably Taya. Probably Taya, yeah. But <clears throat> the first one is Amazon Fighter. I already have you, but I gotta make sure. You take no battle damage from um, an attack involving this card. I want to try to focus it as much as possible. 
But some of these cars, they don't want to be focused, and I just have to respect that. Gilfried the Legend. Very, very nice. Summon Skull. I think you're in the wrong deck, Mr. Mister. A fiend... Oh. Oh, all right. A fiend with dark powers from confusing the enemy. Among the fiend-type monsters, this monster boats compared to for, for this oh this is threatened <laughs> i think it talk, you're supposed to talk like joey like that's his description interesting whoa i need this card that's whoa like i i don't know if you guys can see it but the hollow wow that's beautiful like i know it's going to be hard for you but like it's very beautiful actually when it hits Damas, Dark Witch, even when all odds are against the Brave Fairy, she will pass onwards in battle. Attack, 1800, defense, uh, 1050. Subarus, cool. Saber, Sabersaurus, excuse me. This normal, gentle dinosaur enjoys relaxing in its nest in the blah, blah, blah. Attack 1900, defense 500. God, that... Oh, my God. Nice. Like, oh, my God. Nostalgia value by a thousand. Harpy Lady Hollow. This human-shaped animal, which wings is beautiful to watch, but deadly in battle. One of my favorite cards of all time, and now I have a hollow. Wow. Like, that's classic. That's classic for me. Maximum six. P -p 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 -p. Gilfeard, the Iron Knight. I remember the Weevil battle when that launched on four kids. And, uh, like, without this card, when equip cards is equipped to this card, destroy the equip cards. Like, it, it was bullshit, but, I mean, that, that whole battle was BS, but, I mean, ah. <laughs> and then, the, who cares? Who literally cares about you? This big old guy with its big old eye shoots a nasty ray beam right at you. Brooklyn Rage. I mean, I'm just putting my hands on my head right now. And I'm just like, I'm smiling so much. And I, I can't, like, I can't imagine. Like, fuck, man. I'm just so happy out of something so simplistic. Like, going from cards from Pokemon is a perfect example. Like, I don't know the new cards. And then all these cards I see... Like, I may not pronounce right, but all all the cards, I'm just like, oh my god, I know that card. Like, I know that episode where a main character played it, and it's just like, oh my god. Oh, cute. Baby Saurus. <clears throat> but I digress. When this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon one, le one level four or lower dinosaur monster to the, to the deck. A ADHD trap hole. When a monster summons a monster, have that monster's original attack. Dust, dark dust spirit. Scary as shit. A deal with a dark ruler. This card is always threatened as an R-type card. If a level 8 or higher monster under your control is was sent to the graveyard of this card, special summon one berserk dragon from your hand or or deck. <laughs> Fairy dragon. Oh my god. I'm not seeing a, I'm not seeing a lot of Joey cards, but what what the hell could I say? I'm seeing a lot of my cards and it's still as good. This card uh gains 3 attack gains 300 attack and a defense for harpy lady on the field i just want to i just want a baby time baby dragon and time wizard target one monster on the field return that monster to your hand amazon uh amazonian paladin this card gains 100 attack for at each amazonist monster you control wow Cyber Harpy Lady. This card is always threatened as a Harpy Lady. 800 attack, 13 de 
hundred defense. <gasps> wow. I think maybe the last card is just treated as Joey. Maybe. No. But copycat. This card I know. I never ever is in my binder. But I always wanted it. Wow. I'm freaking the fuck out right now. Copycat. Uh, when each... When this card is summoned, target one face-up monster. Your comp opponent controls this card. Attack and defense become equal to that monster. It is so broken, and I love it. Especially in the anime. But par pack three out of four, and then one more to go. Wow. Wow. I oh, Maybe there are... Like, obviously, there has to be more Legacy Collection, but I don't know if this is it afterwards. But, I'm like I said, I'm very excited. Uh, I don't... I'll probably put this in its own category. Who knows? Most likely, because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not Pokemon, so... But I just have so much more nostalgia for Yu-Gi-Oh! card-wise. Excuse me. Dark World mode but let's be honest if i can't pronounce pokemon names i probably can't pronounce half of these cards skull conductor interesting very interesting like i love the designs as well necro valley like what if Jaden had a legend legend uh collection i would just lose it oh i actually remember lol uh lava golem lava golem very very interesting Book of Life. I need this book. Target one target, uh, one zombie type monster in your graveyard and one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon the first target. Also banish the second target. Foolish Burial. Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Silent Doom. I also remember this card. Target one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in the face up position. Cannot attack. Meteor of Destruction. If your opponent's life points is higher than 3,000, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. God, that's how... Can I use that in tournament play? And then, Drill a Go. If your opponent... If the only card... If... Crap. If the only cards from your opponent controls are face-up monsters with 1,600 or more attack, this card can attack attack your opponent directly wow 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 uh i guess i'll put that in the no no pile and then last pack please give me something please give me something i would be like <gasps> i mean copycat so far is that card where it's just like oh my god like holy crap like, maybe I'll just buy another one of these in the future and just open that. Just be like, holy shit balls!" And wait another... Wait another five months of not opening it. But I still can't believe I've waited so long. But I digress. 1996. Great year. Great, great year. Ooh! Actually, this is a card that an effect monster was talking about. Berserk Dragon. Cannot be normal summoned... Must be special summoned by a deal with the ruler. This cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card can attack all monsters on your opponent. Wow. Wow, that is crazy. Crazy good. Despair from the Dark. I remember this card too. Oh. Uh, Gravekeeper uh, Priestess. Interesting. While there are no face-up field spell, this field is Necro Valley. Okay. Horn of the Heaven. When a monster would be summoned, tribute one monster and negate the summon if you do destroy that monster. What the hell? Savalion Warlock of the Dark World. Damn. Like, just the hollow effects just look beautiful. Call of the Haunted. Alright, I know that card. <laughs> Jirai Gumo. <laughs> One of the broken cards in the anime. When this card declares an attack, toss a coin, call it. If you call wrong, lose half your life points. It's actually a pretty good card. And the last card. Oh, no, okay. 
Return Zombie. And then the last card, Mystical Labyrinth. All right. Equipped to only Labyrinth Wall, you could tribute the equipped monster special summon one wall shadow from your deck. Great tag team battle with Joey and Yugi. I think it's just cards that Joey had something to do with the anime for the most part, and then just thrown with random cards in there. But goddamn, it's so much nostalgia right off the bat. I, I don't know how to put it in words that seeing so many cards that I recognize, may not pronounce correctly, but recognize just it is speechless to me just is speechless and i'm very very glad it happened it sucks that i waited so long because by this when this comes out it will be probably past halloween so i mean honestly if i look at it right now probably the date when this comes out okay one It'll be the 1st of November, and that's crazy. That's way too long, but it, it, I, I, it's crazy for me, and I'm so happy I did this. I truly am, but thank you all for watching. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, let me know, nostalgia stuff. If you ever want to have nostalgia cards and you know would go to a good home, my P.O. box is down below. And watch me on Twitch. Uh, it's where I do live streaming of video games. I've done Yu-Gi-Oh! games in the past. Maybe I'll do it again. But thank you all very much. And hopefully you like this all as much as I loved recording it. And I will see you all soon. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. And I will see you all very, very soon. Love you and bye-bye.